Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Pearl, and today we are continuing the conversation about healing and forgiveness. In my last video, we talked about finding freedom through forgiveness, and I shared some of the steps that helped me on my journey. Today, we are going to dive even deeper into what comes next, how to truly embrace the peace and new beginning that follow forgiveness, and how to cultivate self-love as you continue on your healing journey. After forgiveness, we have the opportunity to embrace a new beginning. This doesn't mean we forget our past, but rather we learn to live beyond it. It's about stepping into the future with a heart that's ready to heal, to grow, and to love ourselves again. Jeremiah 29 11 has always been a source of comfort for me, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Holding on to this promise, I found courage to look ahead, trusting that God had a beautiful future in store for me. Part of embracing this new chapter is learning to cultivate self-love and gratitude. It wasn't always easy, but it was essential. I began to focus on the blessings around me, no matter how small, and slowly the light began to overshadow the darkness. Philippians 4 verse 8 reminds us, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things things. Focusing on the positive, on the things that brought me joy, helped me shift my mindset and embrace the fullness of life that God was offering. Embracing peace isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. Healing takes time. It requires patience with yourself. There were days when I felt like I had taken steps backward, but I learned to give myself grace. Romans 5 verses 3 and 4 says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. This verse reminds me that every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. So be patient with yourself as you move forward and trust that God is guiding your steps. One of the most powerful things I've learned is to trust in God's plan for my life. Even though things don't go as expected, I remind myself that God is in control and that he's always working for my good. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Submit to him and he will make your path straight. Learning to trust in God's plan has brought me peace, even when I didn't have all the answers. As you continue on your journey of healing, remember that peace is possible and new beginnings are waiting for you. Keep cultivating self-love, gratitude and patience. And above all, trust in God's plan. He has a future filled with hope and joy for you. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Share it with someone who might need to hear this message. And don't forget, subscribe for more videos on healing, faith, and embracing life's new beginnings. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care now.